Hey YouTubers, this is Divine Diva coming back at y'all with another video right quick about Las Vegas. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that you can watch about going to Las Vegas, what to expect, what not to expect when you go down there. So, I've been down there um, several times already, and every time I go, I have a blast. A blast. It's always a ball. But there are scams and schemes down there now. So just so you know, if you've never been to Las Vegas before, I suggest you go in here on YouTube and watch some videos about what to expect and what not to expect when you go down there. You have to have your head on swivel when you go to Las Vegas. It's a very, very fun place. It's one of my favorite cities. Um, me and my daughter, we plan to go back sometime um, next year. And um, it's just always a fun time when I go to Las Vegas. Um, my biggest thing down there, of course, are those, um, <laughs> the, the, uh, like, uh, the ATM fees can be extremely high. Okay. You know, when you go to a regular ATM, it'll say, how much you want to take out? Fast cash, $40. And your ATM fees may be about three or $4 or $2 and 50 cents. Mm -mm, honey, them fees down there could be up to $10 for ATM fees. And they don't say you want fast cash $40. They say fast cash $300, maybe $600. Yeah, that's how it was when I was at the Bellagio. That's when me and my daughter stayed and we went there. And I was like, what the hell is this? I said, I ain't going to take out no $600. I just want to take out, I was trying to take out just about 100 You know what I mean? But yeah, it's, it's <laughs> they're trying to get you down there. So, but you have to know what you're doing. You have to know how to maneuver in Las Vegas, for real. You have to know what to do down there. The, and also, too, um, the resort fees. Some people think resort fees is a ripoff. Some people say, oh, this is how it is. But I read comments that um, when they was closed down during the pandemic, they were still taking resort fees from people, but their like their pools or their gyms and that kind of stuff wasn't even open. But they were still ripping you off for resort fees. I was like, see, that's cold blooded. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be on your stuff when you go visit Las Vegas, child, because they would try to rip you off. I mean, completely. Yeah. And those timeshare people down there, they got me and my husband back in 2019. Me and my husband went to Las Vegas. And it was on our, our anniversary too. The lady came to us and she was just talking all this stuff. And then the man came to us. He was talking, talking, talking. We gave him $40. And they, they some bus picked us up from the hotel and drove us to some other hotel. We was in this room talking. I'm sitting next to this couple that was from Indiana. And we looked at each other. We all just sitting there mad. He kept saying, I need to be at the pool smoking some weed or something. <laughs> I'm sitting there like me and my husband, we're on, you know, our, our you know, vacation on, on our anniversary our wedding anniversary and i'm sitting up in this hot room like what's going on yeah we got our money back and we left okay don't let them get you when they walk up to you they usually wear like a black shirt they appear like they work for the hotel but they don't they don't and then <clears throat> um a few weeks ago me and my daughter was on a strip we just walking we leaving the bellagio we were staying we walking we walking we right there on um las vegas boulevard we're walking and this little lady just came up to us and she was just talking. She was just, they talk real fast down there now. I try to get you to be like, okay, but see, I, I, I'm hip to the game. And she put these beads on my, on my, on my wrist. I'm looking like, what is she doing? And she was just net and she had a pen and a pad for you to sign. I said, no, ma'am. I kept saying, how much? And she still wouldn't say, I said, ma'am, how much are these beads? It was pretty. Ma'am, how much are the beads? She wouldn't say, I took them beads off. Here you go, Slim. You know, mm -mm. they would try to get you for everything. Remember, nothing is free in Las Vegas. When they say free this, free that, nothing is free in Las Vegas. Trust me, okay? Oh, you can get this, you can get that, you got to do this, you can get that, you can get a free drinks, free this, free that. Poolside drinks cost an arm and a leg, okay? When we stayed at the Rio, those drinks that me and my daughter had back in June of this year, those drinks was $25, Okay? Pool side drinks was $25 a piece. Not together, a piece. Okay? So, um, we went to um, Planet Hollywood. They had some really nice um, places to drink there. Also, the Cosmopolitan had some nice places to drink there. The Daiquiri Bar. Go to the Daiquiri Bar and ask for... What's his name? Oh, my God. I, I have it on my Instagram page. But he was he was the bomb. He was hooking us up with some drinks. And drinks was like the bomb. Okay? But go to the Daiquiri Bar at um, uh, Cosmopolitan Hotel. So, yeah. You can get a nice drink there for probably about, about 13 14 bucks. 
You know what I'm saying? And those real long drinks people walk around with down there, them things could be up to 50 bucks. And I was like, look, I ain't that damn thirsty to pay 50 bucks for some long alcoholic drink, especially when it's, when it's hot. It's probably worth it, but I'm not paying $50 for that tall-ass drink, okay? Uh-uh. So, for our cheap eats, where we went to, we went to um, um, In-N-Out Burger. In-N-Out Burger and we, um, um, I thought Gordon Ramsay's uh, fish place right there in the Lynx Promenade was 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 cheap, but for me and my daughter, that about how much I paid about seventy dollars for two meals. <laughs> then you know, other places we went to, we, we got uh, we went to a place called Off the Strip, that's also in the Lynx Promenade. We had got chicken wings, lemonade, and a salad. That cost me $84. That ain't cheap. I can get chicken wings and a salad over here around the corner with some lemonade for about $15. I'm straight. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, stuff's going to cost you. So, when you go to Las Vegas, make sure you take all the cash. I didn't want to use none of my credit cards. Actually, the only credit card I used was for the room to pay for the um, resort fees. But I... uh far as like shopping or whatever, I did not want to use like, like use none of my cards at any stores down there. And I said in the previous video, when I was sitting at the, the, the Lynx promenade a couple of weeks ago, I said, if you're going to buy your family, any um, trinkets, some souvenirs, do not shop at the, at the um, hotels, their little uh, uh, gift shops, go to Walgreens and CVS. They're all over the place. They have owls of, of Las Vegas stuff. You can go there and buy all that stuff. Do not go to these um uh these uh little stores that be inside these hotels because it's the same stuff you can get at Walgreens, probably cost you two, three dollars. That same little two, three dollar little uh shot glass, whatever, probably gonna cost you about ten dollars at the hotel for one shot glass. I can show you the shot glasses I brought. Alrighty. I did have to pause the camera a little bit, but this right here, look at this. Look at that. Ain't that cute? Cute. Yeah, this glass, I got this glass at Walgreens on the strip. On the strip. This glass right here at Walgreens was $3. This little shot glass. Okay. Actually, I got two of them. Okay. That same shot glass at the, the little store in the, in, the, in the hotel was $12.50. I got these for $3. This right here, I also got this one. Look at that. From Walgreens. Look at the colors in there. From Walgreens. $3. Saw the same glass, again, at a hotel little gift shop. For thirteen dollars, you see what I'm saying? Ten dollars more, yeah, right. <laughs> I had this when I was in my limo, but whatever. I ain't opened it up yet. This is when me and my daughter was in the limo back in June when I went to Vegas. So, honey, look, this probably gets sipped on tonight. Now, I am a candle freak. Yes, I am. I ain't afraid to admit that. Now, this is what happened when I had my candle in my bag getting on the airport. You know, I go in the airport, try to get on my plane. I bought this beautiful Jolly Rancher. This mug smells good, too. Jolly Rancher grape candle. They threw my bag, and look, they broke my... I was heated. Heated. And it was wrapped up real good, too. So that means somebody threw my bag. One of them TSA employees threw my bag real good. They threw my bag hard as hell. Because I had this mug padded. Yeah, this is Jolly Rancher. I got this from the... um. The Hershey store on the strip. And yeah. So I had to come home, pick all the glass out of it. So this candle was $29.95. Yeah. That price probably ain't gonna show because it's yeah, there you go. But anyway, yeah. So I had to put my I had to use one of these uh bath and body work candle holders to put this in. But anyway. That's my experience. I mean, I got I I have a lot of experience with um with Las Vegas. You know what I'm saying? So, but that's just for now. That's just gonna be it because it's 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 so much. And I don't I don't like doing real long long videos. But yeah, it's a lot. But my thing is anyway. Like I said, 
go to Walgreens or CVS and get your trinkets. If you're going to bring some stuff home for yourself or your friends and family, do not go to those stores. Okay. Because you're going to spend maybe $50, $60 more than what you was going to spend at, you know, from, if you're going to Walgreens or CVS, because there's plenty of Walgreens and CVS, get your water, get you some, um, chips. Uh, if you, if you drink, I don't drink pop, but if you drink pop soda or whatever, um, you, some juices, whatever your snacks, get all that and bring it back to your room. I don't touch the mini bar. Okay. I don't, I no, that's not me. Okay. It ain't that deep for me. I'm not touching a mini bar. Because nothing is free in Vegas, okay? Nothing. Please remember that. If, if they walk up to you and say, oh, yeah, you can do this. Do this. No, you can't. Nothing is free in Las Vegas. Trust me. For somebody who's been there several times. <laughs> okay. Y'all have a good one. I'm about ready to go fry me some fish. So, you guys take care. Stay out the way. Lay low. Blessings.